at all the action live Hillary and uh, as we are looking forward to a uh, very top-notch rugby action in uh, from the first round to the second round next game up men and guy cream homeboys playing against Impala Saracens mm. Impala in the white strip mm. homeboys in the very many colors I'm trying to figure out which one to say yellow green blue white with the little um, boy, boy. funny caricature on the side of the uh, of the uniform it looks a bit more like a cartoon strip more than a rugby shirt it has to do with uh, branding indeed Hillary and uh, from the the sponsors indeed, it is their work to do all they can on the pitch there. And this time it will be kickoff from Impala. Referee Victor Dwar blows for the start. Impala winning the ball off the kickoff. Samson Onsomu in your picture. Capital ready for Kenya at the seventh stage. He's trying to ensure he can get the selectors a little bit more headaches in this tournament. We do have confirmation that the first three tournaments in the circuit will be used to select the national team. Forward pass from Neto Simiu Impala thought that they'd actually broken through. It'll be called for a scrum put in for homeboys. Mike Wanjala, the homeboys, number nine with the ball, set to put it in. Homeboys do have a lot of experienced players in their ranks. Oscar Iodi, seven circuit, seventh team player. We've got Agassin Lugonzo, seventh team player. Alvin Otieno, who was very, very instrumental and very impressive in the Masaku 7s tournament. Kenya 7s trialist did turn out for the chairman select at the Safari 7s tournament last year. They'll, however, be missing Mugaisi, who got injured four weeks ago during the Masaku 7s tournament. But they definitely look like they still have a lot of depth and will be definitely one of the firm favorites to clinch this tournament. And once again, homeboys, these two teams are looking a bit evenly matched so far in the opening exchanges. And the ball now as Impala head into the territory for the homeboys. What can they do with this? Go straight into contact, but has support. And we're Impala. able to string a few passes here. Impala currently hogging on the position. The veteran in your picture there, Innocent Simiu, former Kenya 7s keeper, does the speed up very well. And Impala. Scored the first try by Samson Nonsomu. Great work by the veteran, Innocent Simiu. Yes, the veteran proving to be the difference so far for Impala against the uh, men and guy cream homeboys now. And if they can get that conversion spot on, it will take them to seven now. And for homeboys, they will want it to go wide so that they, they you cannot afford to give a team like Impala a chance to search further forward. Conversion attempt by Neto Simiu, the younger brother of Innocent Simiu, the one who did all the creative work before on Somu Strike with the conversion. Simiu brothers have definitely been very, very, uh, like look at the word, very, very prominent in Kenya rugby. We did see earlier on when Kenya Harlequins were having the pep talk, the elder brother Victor Sudi Simiu, who has since retired, but the other younger siblings, Innocent and Neto, both of them well over 30, still playing and playing the trade. In your picture there, Neto Simiu, still showing what he has to offer. And great running by Samson Onsomu, not the biggest man on the pitch, but has one of the bigger hearts, doing very well to score the try. And action resumes here with homeboys now. But the tackle going, they go in hard there, Impala. And homeboys, they regain possession this time. What can they do with this? They're on the back foot early in this first half. And this is not a situation they will want to be, but they have possession indeed. And try to get through the centre, skips past a few challenges, but goes straight into contact. And Impala asserting their physical presence there in the centre of the pitch. Clumsy bit of play there by the Kenya 7 international Bush Mwale. Not something that you would have expected for a player of his calibre in your picture with the number 22. He is holding on to the ball, gifting Impala with a penalty, which I believe they'll be more than happy to punt down. No, it doesn't look like. Samson Onsomu looks like he'll play this. He's got numbers evenly split on the left and the right. Looping pass. Let's wait to see what they'll be able to make out of this. Impala doing very well, just hogging all the possession. They've got the veteran in your picture, Innocent Simiu, former Kenya 7s captain. 
had a very nasty injury four years back, did very well, came back to play competitive rugby after being up by four years, did actually win the comeback of the end, the Sportsman of the Year award held last year. A great servant of the game. And it is proving to be very evenly matched here with Impala still on five to Homeboys nil, but Homeboys now they regain possession. And as they try to search for the forward, Impala very well organized here as they are trying to halt them. And what can they do with this? Augustin Lugonzo. A bit of a tussle there. And uh, this is what we expected in uh, such a fixture. Both teams almost evenly balanced and whichever team wins this, it will be a close contest indeed. And skips past a few challenges there, Alvin Otieno for homeboys. And things are not going according to script for them. And sent to the bin. Neto Simiu will not be his first uh, foray in the bin. One of the more artistic players, but uh, needs to tone down his level of passion. And surely you'd actually believe that in the next two minutes, homeboy should be able to pull a score of sorts. They should make the advantage count here. Homeboys indeed. They know that Impala are man down and before the two minutes are up for Neto Simu to be getting back into this. They know that it's just about a minute. And from the line out now, what can they do with this Impala? They are man down, but they are still a force to reckon with now. And Homeboys know that they are no pushovers. And from that... Look like Impala won it against the head, Samson and Somu. Just trying to figure out what call will be made. Mike Wanjala picking up the ball, so it should be scrum put in for the homeboys. Referee Victor Dro looking at his watch. Impala would be the happier team to get into the interval, leading 5-0. Your picture there, number 22, Innocent Simu. Not uh, one of the players you'd probably expect to see in a scrum. Man who started... His first game for Kenya, only age 19. Still playing at the age of 32. And once again, the referee there dishing out instructions as the players prepare for that scrum. And indeed, this will be favoring Impala for sure because it is not gifting homeboys a chance to get an attack against them. And the homeboys now in possession. It is deep into their territory. And they have options there on the left. Can he go all the way? Looking for options. And yes, Alvin he's clawed back. Well. The man they call Buffalo tries to charge his way through the Impala back line. Doesn't succeed at the first line. Max Kangeri in a spot of bother. Impala should be smelling some bit of blood. You can see the arm outstretched. There'll be a knock-on advantage for Impala. And it would appear that that will be the final action in this half. So Impala hanging on by the skin of the teeth. Going one band down. At the interval, still with a very narrow five point to zero lead against Homeboys. <laughs> I always defend across the pitch. The most important thing, guys, to score fast. Sir, the Kuba Yatu must score fast. Sir, my guys, you gave me a two. Sindio. I just said to Rudy Chofazali, my guys, after the pass, we could go win. Kujeni, sir. Kujeni. Guys, composure. Count the maturity. Hit the maturity. Sir, composure. Secure ball. To block. To play end to end. Let's go to India. Sir, how do I know? Isha, Isha. Isha, Isha. Sir, then we play. We are seeing this ball now. Just maintain it. Yeah. Maintain it. I don't know pressure. Just put it, put it easy. Secure it, take the ball to the other, way, to the other side. Take uh, uh, my hand. Just a little bit. Put it right there, then we okay. You okay, you could fall back yeah, and you fall back. Sir, sir, sir. Vanish it, vanish it. Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, with us now. Impala, two go. Two go. Three, two, one. Impala. Philippians 413 looks to be the verse that the Impala team whispered out at the end of that team talk. Message was simple and clear to try and keep the ball in. 
and just try and frustrate the homeboys players. They've done that to great effect. Neto Simi looks to have walked back in, so Impala will be back to the full complement of seven players and will make for a very interesting second half in this game. They have not been able to be punished by the homeboys there. They were a man down and they were able to, you know, keep them at bay here. And the homeboys, possibly this, uh, the next seven minutes being very important for them and the kick off there from Agustin Lugonzo as they try and know that this uh, is a very slender lead as they try and get back into this. The kick this time, Impala able to get possession, but uh, it is gifted to homeboys. No confirm the kickoff. The man who got sent off, Neto Simi, looks to have passed, got in a bit cold out in the sin bin. Just giving the ball to homeboys. Homeboys look to have made a change. Mike Wanjala, who was a starting scrum half, is out, and we have Kevin Masai in the dyed hair with the ball. And this time for the scrum, what can homeboys come up with here? It is just a slender lead for Impala, and homeboys know that they can be able to be getting back into this, but they have not had even the chance to string a few passes together and get deep into the territory of the Impala. That was telegraphed a mile off, and great tackle from Neto Simiu. Agassin Lugonzo tried to run and miss Simiu with the second tackle on Kevin Masai. He looks to have been charged up the two minutes in the Simbin, just made him a beast. It was kind of a recharge for Simiu as they are trying to halt this homeboy's team. Go straight into contact there. You see Alvin Otieno. And this time they win possession once again in Pala. Not a really good sign for the homeboys. The five important points proving to be so elusive here. And Agustin Lugonzo, you can tell it from his face, not looking so happy. They know that they have to get the ball deeper and deeper into the territory of the Impala as they try to get the only important try now and it will be a scrum here for impala can they turn this possession into a point for them to get, go all the way and get that try for homeboys can they be able to claw themselves back into this game and from the doesn't look straight from the take so referee Vic Santodor, sorry victor dora beg your pardon having a bit of a chat with both sets of players. No early shoves required. The ball has to be taken in where the scrum has already been stabilized. Samson Nsomu doing well to hold on to the ball. This time looks better. Ali shove from Impala this time. Ball turned over. Agassin Lugonzo not taking or wasting any time. Funny that Oscar Yodi getting his first sniff of the ball. Kevin Masai looks at options out wide. Max Kangeri with the ball. Kangeri manages to get the ball out wide, and it's a foot race. Samson Nsomu recovering the ball for Impala. He's all alone deep within Impala territory. Great recovery from Impala. Almost looked like it was going to be an automatic turnover. Linus Neto Simiu keeping the ball for Impala. They've got numbers. Thumping tackle not completed, allowing Impala to return the position. Max Kangeri, Kevin Masai, Alvin Oteno in there does not look like they'll be willing to let the ball go to deck and this should be a turnover for homeboys indeed it is a scrum put in for homeboys gallant effort gallant effort it is indeed hillary but the clock is ticking down on them time is indeed against the homeboys but deeper and deeper they are surging further forward in this impala territory here and from this scrum they will want to definitely be taking advantage of that and standing over the ball kevin masai there as uh, they are going deeper and deeper with the impala Making changes here as they try to contain homeboys who have been on the resurgence. They want to share spoils here or even go on and get that all important try and make the conversion to take them to seven. But Impala still holding on to their slender 5 0 lead. Can he go all the way here? And yes, they do it. The homeboys. The homeboys there. Try not to. There was a whistle by the referee. Agustin Lugonzo left the ball, ostensibly believing that that was an Impala penalty. Referee has confirmed that it is a homeboys penalty. So homeboys still on the onslaught, deep within the Impala 22 meter line. Lugonzo with the ball again, thumping tackle. Impala not leaving anything to chance, throwing the bodies left and center. Missed tackle allows Lugonzo to break through, looking very ominous for Impala. Max Kangeri picking the ball, 
homeboys look like they've got their tails up in the air. They need to just pin down their ears and finish this off. Still retaining the possession. counter almost good for Impala. Oscar Yodi, the Kenya Sevens player, taking the ball in. Alvin Oteno looked to have flown in and Impala, all of a sudden, kicked the ball down and it's a foot race. It is a foot race and what can Impala do Neto with this? Simiu Neto knocks Simiu the ball now. again with his knees. Alvin Oteno manages to recover. And Simiu picks the ball, pops it up. Absolute flurry. Moment of madness there by homeboys. And Impala looked to be on the upsurge. Innocent Simiu, Neto's bigger brother, almost getting to the try line. Not too certain whether the try was made or whether it was held up. You can see the Impala Saraf Saracens fans all in the red hood hoodies. Being very animated, not too certain whether those are Christmas greetings or whether I just want to find out what the temperature is on the day. Looks like it was held up and this should be a scrum on the five yard. The homeboys players will not be too happy with themselves. That was a golden opportunity at getting a, a score. Indeed, homeboys know that the clock ticking down on them. And from that action there, Impala almost got their second try to take it to 10. But for homeboys, the ball in just a matter of seconds was in the Impala deep end of their, of their side of the pitch. And this time we see them, they have the chance to even kill off this game now because time is really against homeboys' side. And what can Impala do with this? They can indeed punish homeboys. For homeboys, it may be the last roll of the dice for them to try and get something out of this. And from the scrum, once again, an infringement there. And that will be granted to Impala. Actually, Lawrence, you do get a feeling that Impala should be able to just get a point. I mean, that was what you call a sucker punch, coming all the deep within their territory to just uh, put a lot more pressure on homeboys. Out goes Samson on Somu. In for Impala is Richard Sidindi. He calls himself Jada Real Power. I'm not too certain whether he has the power to win this for Impala. Ball goes out. Richard Sidindi recovering. Ball was kicked out wayward. I'm not too certain why. I think it is because the final whistle was beckoning in Impala. Winning this, barely holding on by the skin of the teeth. This was a Hartford 5 0 victory. And you can actually see from the body language that this has taken a toll on them. Indeed, the Impala has been able to get the better of homeboys there. And uh, Nakuru and Stratmolios making their way there into the pitch for the next match here. Nakuru and Stratmolios. The penultimate match actually here 